Hello everyone. Before starting the video. Please, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. About previous video. Welcome back to the second video of building an Unleashed Network video series. Before proceeding, it is very important to know, what we did in our previous video. In my previous video, I built an Unleashed Network, by upgrading the firmware of my first Ruckus access point, to Unleashed, following the recommended procedure. How did I do that? First I connected my access point directly to my PC via Ethernet cable. Secondly, I restored my access point to its factory default settings via web interface. Third, I upgraded the firmware of my AP to Unleashed. Fourth, at the end, I accessed my AP's web interface using the default IP address and then, I configured or built an Unleashed network, on that access point. Fifth, I assigned a static IP address to my AP during the configuration of building an Unleashed network. As I mentioned in that video, the first access point with Unleashed firmware, which we use for building or configuring an Unleashed network, is called the Master AP. About this video. In this video, I am going to upgrade the firmware of my second Ruckus access point to Unleashed, and then, after upgrading the firmware, we will see, how this AP will join the Unleashed network, which I created or built in my previous video. Procedure is the same to upgrade the firmware but here, in this video, I will upgrade the firmware, following a slightly different procedure as mentioned below. Number 1. My access point is not directly connected to my PC via an Ethernet cable, but, this time, my access point is mounted on the wall, and, my AP and my PC, both are connected to the same physical network, via an Ethernet switch. Both the devices, I mean the PC and the access point, have been assigned the same network's IP addresses. Number 2. I will not restore my AP to factory default settings, before upgrading the firmware. Number 3. I will upgrade the firmware of my second Ruckus access point, to Unleashed via web interface. Number 4. At the end, I will show you, how can we configure this access point, with Unleashed firmware. Number 5. I will show you, how this access point will join an Unleashed network, once its firmware will be upgraded to Unleashed. Note. I would suggest, watch the full video and, do not skip any part of the video, so that, we may have a better idea about how we can do this without facing any problem. Let's start the practical video. I have downloaded an Unleashed firmware file, and saved it on my desktop. Let me show you. This is the firmware file, which I downloaded. The 200 series indicates that, it is an Unleashed firmware file. Next I will open the command prompt and, enter the command, ping space, followed by the current IP address of my access point, with minus T switch to continuously monitor the communication, between the AP and this PC. We can see that, we are getting continuous response from our access point, means that, the access point is properly connected to the network and communicating well with the PC. I will now open an internet browser, and I will enter the full address to access the web management interface of my access point. Click on the advanced button, then the link given below. On the login page, I will enter the current credentials of my access point. Click on the login button. We can see that I have changed the default device name of this AP. We will check this name again once we upgrade the firmware. If I go to the internet option, under the configuration tab, we can see that, a static IP address has been assigned to this AP. Please note that, I also have reserved the same IP address on the DHCP server for my access point. 
you will be thinking why did I do that? Upon upgrading the firmware to Unleashed, normally the IP address of the AP will remain the same, but if, for any reason, the IP address connection type is changed from static to dynamic, then this AP will search for the DHCP server on the same network, to get an IP address from. That is the reason, I reserved the same IP address on the DHCP server for this AP. Now, whenever this AP sends a request to DHCP server, for an IP address, it will receive the same IP address from the DHCP server. Reserving an IP address is just like assigning a static IP address. As per best practice, it is very important that, all the network devices must have assigned either a static IP address or, reserved a unique IP address on the DHCP server. So, I would also suggest, you must reserve a unique IP address on the DHCP server for your access point, before starting the upgrade process. Now, I will access the web interface of my Unleashed network, which I created in my previous video. I will open a new tab and, enter the full address. Press the enter button. Click on the advanced button and then the link given below. As it says, Unleashed, means this is the login page of Unleashed network. I will enter the credentials of my Unleashed network, and then I will press the Unleash button. If I check the Access Points tab, there are two access points added to this Unleashed network. Let me expand this tab by clicking on it, to check the details of these two access points. We can see that, two access points with the names second floor and fourth floor are added to this Unleashed network. I will now go back to my AP's web interface to upgrade the firmware. Here, I will click on the Upgrade option under the Maintenance tab. Select Local as Upgrade Method. Press the Choose File button and then go to the location where we have saved the firmware file. Select the file, and then click on the Open button. The firmware file name will be displayed here in a moment. A warning message says that, this process will take few minutes, so, do not unplug the power until and unless this process completes. Click on the, Perform Upgrade, button. The upgrade process will start now. First it will load the firmware file and then will reboot the access point. Meanwhile, I will open the command prompt page to monitor the communication with access point. Because the access point is now rebooting, hence lost the communication. I will forward the video, wherever it is required to save time. After rebooting, a pop-up message will appear. Click on the OK button. If we check the communication now, it has been started but, on the web browser a message appears, which says. It will take a few minutes to build an unleashed network. So, we have to wait and monitor the communication with AP continuously. We will see that, the communication has been stopped for the second time. Again we will wait until the communication starts. Communication has started again. We will wait for a moment to auto-refresh the web interface. If I click on the refresh button, to manually refresh the page. The error message appears, saying, the site or page not found. If I type the full address manually to access the web management interface, we will see that, it is showing the same message again. It means, building an unleashed network is currently in progress. All we can do is to wait and monitor the communication continuously. The communication has been stopped for the third time. So, we will wait until the AP starts responding.
the communication has started again. This time, we will wait for a few minutes to check if the communication will stop again or not. After monitoring the communication for a few minutes, we can see that the AP is responding continuously but the web page is not auto-refreshed, so I will again refresh the web page manually. Upon refreshing the page, we will see that the IP address in the URL will change to the IP address of our Unleashed network. Also the tab name says, Unleashed Dashboard. Means our access point, after upgrading the firmware, has joined the Unleashed network without asking for any manual configuration. If I open the old Unleashed tab, and check the number of access points, we will see that, now it shows three access points are added to this Unleashed network. Upon expanding the Access Points tab, we can see that, our access point is added here with the same name. Means the device name remains the same even after upgrading the firmware to Unleashed. If I scroll down and expand the Admin and Services tab, click on the System Info under the System tab. On the right side, under the preferred master option, now we will have a total of three access points with Unleashed firmware installed. All the access points after joining the Unleashed network will be shown here. We can choose one access point from the list as the primary master and another as the secondary master. Remember that all the configurations will be synchronized among these two access points. If the primary master AP goes down then, the secondary master AP will become active and will start providing all the services of the primary master AP. Plus we can now manage all the access points from one location. It doesn't matter which access points web interface we try to access, it will take us to the active master AP. So, we do not need to remember all the IP addresses of our access points but only the one IP address. This IP address may be of any access points which have joined the Unleashed network. That's it. We have successfully upgraded the firmware of second access point to Unleashed and, then joined this AP to the Unleashed network. Next video. In my next video, I will show you that, how can we change the basic settings of an unleashed access point? Hi! If you liked this video, then, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also leave your query in the comments section below. I will be more than happy to entertain. Thanks!